Hi, Midnight Animations here. So, this is my first story time. Okay, I know this is about to be, like, really, really cringy, so, like, bear with me. Oh, boy, this is about to be bad. But anyway, here we go. So, growing up as the baby of the family, you get away with a lot of stuff. Because if we got in trouble, my dad would never expect me to do something so stupid and reckless without, like, supervision. So, my brother always got blamed for it. Every time me and my brother got left at home, my brother was always in charge. And he would always tell me not to do something, but I did the complete opposite. Like, I don't know why, I just did it just because. Now, when you don't listen, bad things happen. Okay, me and my brother would play with our next door neighbor's kids, Tasha and Leroy. They were the baddest kids on the block. They were probably bad as hell because their mom and dad was on pixie dust. They always wanted to play in our backyard because we had basketball hoops. Like, you know, the really ghetto ones where you have to put a brick on the back. Yeah, we had one of those. Every time that we played basketball, I always got stuck with Leroy. Like, I don't know how many times I had to play ball with that dude. All Leroy knew was street ball. He would bounce the basketball off my forehead and then do a layup. How, you might ask? The power of pixie dust, my friend. The only reason that I kept playing ball with Leroy is, was because he knew how to do a backflip. How many six-year-old boys did you know that knew how to do a backflip? Like, I, if I tried, I would bust my head wide open. I don't know about you. Whenever the ball got stuck on the side of the rim, he would climb up the pole and do a backflip. The power of pixie dust. When he did it a couple of times, I had the courage to do it. Why? Because I was reckless too. So when the ball got stuck, I tried to climb it too. My brother tried to stop me, but he only stopped me like once. So by this time, he was probably low-key tired of my bullshit. So like I was saying, wh- hold on, give me one second. What What the hell are you doing? Get down from there, little girl, you know you cannot climb. Mayana, get down, you know you... Little girl, you about to bust your head wide open. Get down. You're not the boss of me. I could do what I want. All right. The funny part about this is I don't even know how to climb. So, like, I don't know what was going through my head that thought I could, but I couldn't. I legit was sliding down the pole the whole entire time. And by this time, everybody was just watching me and was like, what is she doing? What is she doing? Trying to climb. Why don't you stop her? She'll get it eventually. So when I finally got up to the top, I tried to lean over from the side of the room. But my shirt had gotten stuck on one of the screws. Bitch, what the fuck? I panicked. I was stuck. My brother didn't even bother to help me. I panicked so bad that my hands started to sweat. Bro, let me tell you, when I started sliding down the pole, my dumb self tried to stop me from sliding by hugging the pole. <gasps> When I was laying on the ground, everybody was just staring at me. Like, have you never seen a person fall to their death before? I think not. The only thing that I heard out the corner of my ear... He needs some milk! When I looked down at my shirt, I had a gash down the middle of my chest. My brother's immediate reaction was to go show my dad. My dad is the type of person to give you a whooping for doing something completely wrong. And sometimes it's not even completely wrong. It'd be like a slight wrong. And at this point in my life, I was the baby of the family and I was his baby. You can't show a grown man that his baby is about to bleed out. So this is what happened. Why is she bleeding? See, Dad, what happened was I told Mayana here not to climb the pole. (laughs) My brother really hates me. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, so, so you like to be high headed, huh? Alright. Dad, wait. Go get my belt. Wait, wait, what? I said, go get my belt. Matter of fact, <laughs> both of y'all about to get a whooping. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, when I tell you me and my brother's face dropped, it was bad enough that I was about to be gushing out blood in any second by now. But to get a whooping on top of that? Oh my god. Okay, so my dad 
has God in his hands when he's holding the belt. He chooses whether you get to leave this house with mercy or leave with lashes on your cheeks. My brother got two lashes, mercy. Me, on the other hand, he whooped me like a dirty slave trying to run away from the South. Dad didn't even give me proper treatment for my wound. He poured peroxide on my chest and slapped a bayonet on and called it a day. CPS is probably at my dad's door like, Open the door, sir! Thanks for watching the video. Um, It would be crazy if you actually got this far into the video without clicking off. I very much appreciate it. So I guess you can like the subscribe button and then, you know, like the subscribe button. What the hell? I meant like my video and then give me a subscribe button. Oh, give me a subscribe button. I need to go to bed. <laughs>